how's it going everybody this is Gordy and today I want to go over lockout tools which ones work which ones don't uh, first of all most of you know already that you know a wedge simple little wedge and a long tool are your most uh, prevalent weapons of choice uh, but there's also other ways of doing it that are, that are pretty easy too you have your strap tool, which I've been over before, but that video got lost somewhere. And uh, this this is what will come in a lot of lockout kits. The only problem is there's no sandpaper in there on this one. So I suggest if you do have one of these, put a piece of sandpaper right in here and glue it in. You can just glue it right in, in there. Or you can buy them with sandpaper already in them. And this is for your post type knobs. In other words, the ones that go up and down right by the top of the window there. That's another way. If you can get have enough to get a hold of, you can pull it up with this. But there's something easier that I'll show you. And a lot of it's just the way you use this thing. And it's called a Slim Jim. I don't use Slim Jims that often, but when we do have those type of locks, I will use it. And you have to be very careful. Now this is this is mine and you see one end here is bent pretty good. I'll show you why in a second. The other end I've got it bent the other way. And uh, basically what I do is I'll go in one side, I usually go in the passenger door first, which that's rule of thumb for lockouts as you know. Go in the passenger passenger door first. If that doesn't work, if I can't get a hold of it with with these notches on this side, then I go to the other side. So in other words, if you're going in the passenger door and you need to have the notches on this side, just go in the driver's side, it turns it around the other way. So I found one car on the lot today that has these type of locks. Like I say, it's not as prevalent anymore as they used to be. but. Um, I have a Chevrolet Aveo right over here to my right. Okay, so first things first, we're going to put the wedge in. Give us a little bit of room there. And as you see my bend right here, we're going to put it in like this, very slowly. It come down and you already saw it move right there, you might have. I'm going to put the camera on the other side so you can actually see what's happening now. Uh, that's as far as I went in though, only just a few inches. I'm not going to start yanking on anything. That's how you tear linkages up. So I have a view from inside the door now. I'm going to go back in again. Just go ahead and lock it. So you see that again. You see the, the lock start to move right there? And then I just pull up on it. Just like that. I can also relock it if I want. Unlock, lock. Okay, so anyway, that's your lockout with a Slim Jim. Yeah, you can still use them today. Not that often, but once in a while they come in handy. Anyway, this is Gordy. I'll see you in the ditch. Bye.